looky, looky here. New series, everybody. That's right. Um, so I put together a mod pack uh, recently. Um, it's not published or anything. I might make it published. I don't know. Maybe I'll see. If, if this becomes popular enough, I will publish uh, a mod pack for it so you guys can play it. And I will, I don't know, uh, yeah, but I will put a mod list down below. Anyways, I made a pod, I made a mod pack after watching a certain movie known as Alien Romulus. Love that movie. Amazing. Love that movie so much. Not only that, I like the Alien movies. I love all of them. I literally, right after watching Alien Romulus, I went through and rewatched Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, uh, Alien Covenant, um, oh gosh, what are the other ones? Uh, Prometheus and, oh, there's another one. Alien Resurrection. Um, I rewatched all of them. They're all fantastic. Well, some of them are iffy, uh, but most of them are good. Most of them are really good. And so I decided to make this mod pack. So, as for the intro, as you just saw, uh, we are in a world with xenomorphs, uh, aliens, face huggers, chest bursters, um, all that stuff, neomorphs. Um, so yeah, but not only that, there are other stuff as well. There are mechanisms, uh, the mechanisms mod, there's create, um, there is ad astra so we can go to space, um, there's security craft, there is Minecraft comes alive, um, or Minecraft comes alive reborn, uh, and the only reason I have that one is because turns villagers into, uh, more real, not realistic, but <laughs> people. Uh, instead of just villagers, they look like people, and uh, we can have relationships with them, uh, which means that we can actually build a small society um, to stay safe away from the xenomorphs, and, um, you know, if we lose people, we'll get attached to them, and all that stuff makes it more entertaining. Um, I also have modular golems. Uh, modular golems means I can make my own golems. Um, there's like a dog golem, a normal like iron golem, um, and a humanoid golem. Uh, I can make them out of different types of materials, and uh, they, I can command them to do things. Um, I can't command them to like chop trees or anything, but I can command them to like patrol and take out uh, certain hostiles and whatnot. Um, so yeah, and there's guns. Lots of guns and vehicles. Um, not a lot of vehicles, but there are a lot of guns. So, there you go. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much this mod pack. Uh, that's most of the stuff that's in here. A lot of technology, a lot of space, um, and a lot of uh, aliens. So that'll be fun. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started with chopping down some trees. I'm also going to do something. Um, mainly because I kind of want to get a head start on finding the aliens, uh, the xenomorphs, um, so what I am going to do, I'm gonna do locate, oop, locate structure, there we go, and it is specifically Geiger-esque, which by the way, Geiger-esque is the mod that adds the xenomorphs and everything, um, so I will put that link down below. You can check it out but geiger-esque uh gig underscore dungeon that is the one located five thousand blocks away so we are going to travel all the way to it um mainly because i want to uh hold on what was it it was positive negative four thousand positive four thousand so we need to go this direction okay so yeah, we are going to basically be traveling from here to the dungeon that holds uh, the um, Xenomorphs. Um, now, I'm not going to be activating the Xenomorphs yet. So basically how Geiger-esque works is when you find... Uh, th so the Xenomorphs, the facehuggers and all that, they're, just, they're not just randomly spawning throughout the world. Um, you have to go find it, um, specifically in a Geiger-esque dungeon. In that dungeon, there are the facehugger uh, eggs. And from what I have seen, there can be a uh, Xenomorph already in there, um, which is kind of cool. So, you know, possible chance of a Xenomorph already being there, and then of course the facehugger eggs. Um, and then when you go in there and you wake up the eggs, they will escape and they will make their way and start taking uh, or start infecting 
um, other mobs and breeding more uh, xenomorphs. And those xenomorphs will then flee and find caves and whatnot and start making nests of their own and creating more eggs. Um, there are no xenomorph queens, which kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping for a xenomorph queen, um, but that's fine. Maybe one day they'll add one. Um, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so we'll have to deal with that. Um, there's different kinds of xenomorphs. There's the xenomorph runner, the normal xenomorph. Um, there's the aqua, uh, aquatic xenomorph. What are you? Hold on. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. What is this little guy? Who are you? Are you dangerous? Supply scamp. What? What are you? You are interesting. <laughs> ah! No! Stop stealing my stuff. Butthole. What'd you take? Oh, you took acorns. I don't care. All right, I'm gonna leave him be. Um, what was I going on about? Oh yeah, there's aquatic xenomorphs. Uh, there's neomorphs. Um, and there's these mutant stuff like a mutant face hugger um which is uh, from prometheus uh so yeah very exciting stuff i'm excited to get into it um i don't know where i want to go with this series i don't know if i want it to be long term or short term um i wouldn't mind it being long term but i want that to kind of be up to you guys if that's something that you guys want me to do is make this a long-term series you enjoy it enough heck yeah i'll keep going with it maybe we'll make like a storyline out of it um Something I would like to do is I want to make a lab that we can contain the uh, the xenomorphs and test them and uh, do experimentation with them um, and whatnot. I think that would be really, really fun. Um, so let me know if that's something you guys would like to see is us making a lab um, to contain these guys. Um, and I've, I've never gotten far with this, so I don't know like how much these xenomorphs will change the world. like. If they're going to kill every single mob which I imagine they would I don't know if they're gonna go around and like the whole world's gonna be one giant nest now for these xenomorphs um, but yeah again maybe in the future if it becomes a long-term series we'll make oh forgot about this Ooh. oh interesting um, but yeah if it's gonna be a long-term series who knows maybe this will end up being a um, like a storyline driven series which would be really fun so again let me know if that's something you guys would want to see wow it is laggy what is going on do i need to bring down the uh this we'll bring it down to to, to 12 12 that should be fine right that's good a little bit better yeah um but yeah so i'm probably not gonna have you guys watch this entire journey to the uh the dungeon i'll probably pause here and there if i see anything interesting or see a structure or something we'll explore it um yeah there are other mobs um kind of explaining the rest of the mod pack there are other mobs uh and there is food as you can see we have farmer's delight which is going to be a lot of fun uh, so we'll make a bunch of different foods and whatnot i think there's aquaculture did i add aquaculture i want to i want to say i added aquaculture I did. Okay, cool. So we have aquaculture, which means that we can make uh, like sushi and stuff like that. So I'm I'm very, very excited for this. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. And lucky enough, we actually found a bunch of a uh, bunch of rice, which is even better. Um, I also do have a vein miner. Um, I think you saw we you saw a seagull before. There are other animals because um, of like Alex's mobs, and then I think naturalist is the other one that I added. Um, so we have all that, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that we have. I didn't really add much for, like, dungeons and whatnot. There is a mod that adds, that adds guns. It's called Scorched Guns 2, um, that adds, uh, small, like, little buildings around. But other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, uh, so I think other than that, um, I'm gonna keep walking towards the dungeon, um, and I would like to find a village near the dungeon, which would be kind of cool. Um, that way we don't have to, um, oh, what's it called? We don't have to, uh, 
we have to go too far. I, I'm hoping there's a village nearby that we can kind of stay at, because I would like to mess around with, like, the Minecraft Comes Alive and make a little, kind of little town, almost, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep walking and I'll see you guys whenever we get to the dungeon. So here we are, I found it. <laughs> I'm right over it. I actually ended up going a little too far. Um, I went this way and went, like I full on passed it. I wasn't even paying attention, um, but it's funny enough. This is actually really cool. It's right on top of the snowy mountain and it's right under the snowy mountain, um, which is really cool. Uh, and these, okay, so this dungeon is pretty deep underground, so we're fine where I'm at right now. But I like that it's like underneath this, like almost like a glacier. Like it's, it's really cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put a marker down. I'm all my other worlds. I mark it with an X. There we go. Um, and then I guess. There's a village right here, so we might as well. That's pretty. Oh, there's another village right there. I could look at, look at that. Look at that little sliver of a village. It's right there. That's cool. There's one there. We did end up crossing through a mesa and another village, which is really cool. So that means we can come back here um, and gather up gold and whatnot. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, and there's obviously there are meteor impacts. Uh, yeah, so some of these are applied energistic meteor impacts. Um, others are um, Ad Astra. The Ad Astra ones are really cool because they have a lot of coal and other resources in them. Um, so that'll be interesting. Also, this mountain had a lot of resources in it. There was like iron and emeralds and coal that were just on the surface. So I might have to go there and collect some some uh, much needed resources. Um, yeah, so now we got that marked off. Let's head down to the village. Um, trying to think uh, what to do next. Um, we'll probably, I mean, obviously we just need to set up base in this village um, and probably go on a mining trip. Uh, and that way we can start, get, uh, start building up some machines from mechanisms and whatnot. Possibly get some golems or whatever. That'd be kind of cool. Um, and like I said, I don't want to go activate the Xenomorphs and Aliens just yet. Um, but at some point, we definitely, definitely will. I need to find a good spot, because... I mean, this would be... This village is kind of in a peculiar spot. Maybe go up here? That'd be kind of cool. There's also Cherry Blossom Forest over there. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go that way. Let's go back up into the mountain real quick. The one that we just left. But it looks like there's like a little, little place over here. I'll probably steal a bed. Is there a bed in here? It does. Uh, what do I not need? I have a lot. I, I grabbed a lot of stuff on our way. Um, can I make this book? I can. It's a little difficult to do that. Oh, I can remake that book. All right, cool. Don't need that. Give me that bed. Bed boy, let's go. And we are going to take this and get set up up here. Oh, and it's raining now, too. Lovely. Although, if we stick in the... Uh, Savannah part should be fine. Yeah, yeah, see look stony peaks. Look at all this exposed ores and stuff like that's that's awesome So this will be a good source. We might not even need to go into a cave to go Mining um, obviously diamonds and whatnot. We will need to but this is cool. Oh, this would be perfect for a base Because um, the base that I'm wanting to do is I want like I said I want to do like a lab um, Type of thing I have a skeleton so that could be kind of cool. So let's get this set up. Um, I did find, like I said, I found a village before and it gave us this, which is a gun bench. This is for uh, scorched guns. So this will allow us to actually make guns. So that'll be kind of cool. Let's get our bed down. 
and let's get a chest. Um, I do have iron chests on, so we can do that. So that'd be kind of cool at some point. Get all this stuff. I did get a buried treasure map, which actually nothing. Okay. <laughs> so these buried treasure maps. I don't. What? It, what is this from? This is from supplementaries. So once I once there, I find a you know buried treasure nearby. I can activate this. And it'll locate it, but right now there's nothing in a certain vicinity, so maybe when we're out exploring, we can uh, look for it. And I'm actually going to take these. This is organic compost. I want this stuff to turn into other stuff. It's better with sun, water, and mushrooms. Oh, that's right. I'll make a bucket out of the three iron that I have left. Um, there's ice nearby. There's no water. There's water over there, up on the mountain. Oh, set my spawn real quick. There we go. Um, all right. So plan is we got to make some sort of a a shack, some sort of shelter, right? And then probably do a mining trip. So. I'm gonna get to doing that. We're gonna get a, uh, like I said, we're gonna get, we're gonna get a shack all set up. So I will be right back. Okay, so these, the mountain, pretty, pretty good. I, I got all this, everything right here. I got almost a two and a half stacks of coal, almost a stack of iron, and almost half a stack of uh, osmium, and the only reason I only got this much was because my pickaxe broke, so I need to make another pickaxe. So I could have kept going, um, but we're gonna real quick. I need, so I need to make another pickaxe. So we're gonna make a furnace real quick. Um, I think I did put iron furnaces as well. Isn't that what it is? Iron. Yeah, I put iron furnaces, so we can upgrade our furnace. Um, so that'll be kind of cool. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some. More iron, so we can uh, make another pickaxe and keep mining up these mountains. Um, which is this is really cool. So that means uh, what we should do is we should try and make our way towards the other Stony Peak um, mountains and get a bunch of more uh, resources from that one too. Chop down some trees that we can start making some sort of a base. Um, Probably not gonna look anything too fancy right now. Um, probably just a small shack. Um, it'll still look good. I would like to at least do some decent building. Get this all mined up, mined up, chopped up, whatever. Words. Um, now something I do want to do is I want this to be kind of like we were sent here almost. Uh, to make this lab because we were told that there is a um, a cave system down here that has never been explored before. There you go. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting waypoints and this is going to be civilian site one. So C1. All civilian sites will be gold. So that's going to be civilian site one. This one will be civilian site two. Which I think it has a blacksmith there too, so that's kind of nice. We'll have to go check that out. So civilian site two. Oh, I need to change the color. Gold. Um, X obviously is the place we're gonna go to. I'm not gonna mark this one yet because I haven't seen most of it. I'm not gonna mark this one over here. That's too far. Um, but I want to mark down like different civilian sites, uh, different villages, civilian sites, um, any craters that we visit nearby, like this one right here, I'll probably mark that one off as a asteroid, um, and then we'll just go around and mark stuff off like that, because it's fun, I like it. Um, so even here, we'll put, just for right now, uh, home base, HB, and we'll do dark green. That's hard to see, hold on. We'll do light purple. Yeah, we'll do light purple. All right, so home base right here. Cool, cool. 
yeah I, I, I that's what i've been doing with all my other ones uh thinking of as more like a uh, professional like this is uh government uh you know something <laughs> this, this is this is a government operation um so yeah but chopping these uh and then i'm gonna go back to gathering some iron and then hopefully when i'm back we will uh have or at least we'll get started on making the the house i'm gonna go check out the this village here and there's also another port right here um if it does it doesn't look like it does um if it has a gold block that would be awesome I need to get diamonds so I can get, start getting obsidian, but let's see, what do you got? Protection. Alright, Respiration 2, that's kind of nice. Golden Eye Fortune 2 and Backstabbing 3, Looting 3, Unbreaking 1, and Fortune 2, Silk Touch. What? Oh, it's it's gold, so it, yeah. Gold, uh, for some, I think it's, maybe it's Supplementary adds this, I don't know, um, but I think Supplementary adds it to where, like, gold items have uh, either looting two or fortune two um which is interesting ow i totally deserve that um yeah let's, i want to go check out this village because if it does i want cabbage or lettuce or whatever it is in this <gasps> mini melons i love mini melons yeah i definitely want to grab uh some cabbage or lettuce whatever it may be so just to check out this village and grab all their wheat. This would be nice. Very good source of food. I know, pig. How's you going? Um, I also have it to where I can pick up uh, pigs and, and animals and villagers if need be. <gasps> Ooh, it's another one of these. Okay, so then a scorched gun thing. No guns. All right, that's a sham. Sometimes you can find guns in these places, uh, most of the time, I'm gonna say not, because I haven't found one yet. There are other structures that have them, so we'll keep an eye out. Anything in here? No. Places usually don't have... These are like the vanilla villages, so like, they, they don't really have a lot in them. I didn't really care to like, give these villages anything crazy, so... Uh, potatoes. Let me take that. We already have carrots. I don't like any lettuce or cabbage. Check up here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I don't know why you're crying. I'm just gonna ignore it. Sorry, uh, government, uh, uh, duties. I don't know. <laughs> what? You know what? Actually, that's a that's a cool idea. Put in the comments what you think our our foundation should be called, or our, our business, or whatever we are. Like, what are we? I, I mean, we're we're a lab um, to test this and whatnot. Are we military? Are we not military? <laughs> I want I want to let I want to let you guys decide in the comments. What do you think should be like our 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 shtick, our thing? Are we government? Are we not government? Are we um, military or private organization? What is our organization name? Our foundation? Like what? What is all that? I would like to know. That would be very cool. And then I could put signs up and make make logos and stuff like that. Maybe make some little videos, cinematic stuff. Kind of fun. Um, at least we got a bunch of food, though. Last us a while. Make some bread, you know? Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much. Ooh, got spruce! That's a good wood. I like I like spruce. Maybe we'll go hit that up. And then, yeah, we have a asteroid there. Meteor, whatever it's called. What it, What is it called when it's something that already has entered the atmosphere? Is it meteor? I want to say it's meteor, because asteroids are floating in space. And I'm, I think I think it is meteor. So yeah, that that is a, a meteor. And there's dripstone cave over here too. Lots of lava. There's another another portal there. Probably get a gold block from there. All right. Uh, let's. We'll probably have to stay here for the night. And then we will. Uh, 
make our way back home. Um, I did do some more mining. As you can see, lots of coal and iron and osmium. But we will have to go mining underground. Uh, so let's, let's do that. Maybe we'll put off the base building for next episode. Or hapsies? I don't know. But I'll see you guys when I get back home. Oh, you know what I forgot about? We have backpacks. Yeah, we got backpacks. Um, I need to, you know what? Let's go, let's go do that before we go on a mining mission. If I can get like an iron backpack, that would be amazing. Um, heck yeah, let's go do that. Let me make a little stack of bread. Let's go. I did end up uh, upgrading our chest to iron chest. So a lot more space, which is really nice. Um, and look at all that coal we have. Oh, we're going to be set for life. Um, bring some of that with us. Can't sleep yet. Now, I know there was cows over in this village. But let's go. I don't know if I want to kill the cows in the village. Because we'll probably use those for us. For uh, breeding and making our own farms. We'll go down here and take out some of the sheep or something oh oh there might be wolves over here uh oh because there was sheep over there on the mini map cause, and now there's not there's just wool oh there's a snow leopard i see it on the mini map i see the name uh i don't want to die to a snow leopard but i would very much like the meat and the uh the wool from the sheep Oh, is it you? Okay. Don't fight me. I'll fight you. Rude. Anything else? Oh, white wool? Did I miss it? I miss white wool? Oh, found it. Alright, there we go. I need one more white wool. That way I can make a, uh... I'm gonna call a sleeping bag. And then I need some cows. Oh, found some cows. See them on the mini map. Go oh, this way. Because we need leather, at least four leather. If I can, I'd like to make two backpacks. Um, so, possibly eight leather. I don't know if I'm gonna get that much, though, from these cows. A lot over here, too. You. Mm, nope, one leather. That's great. Okay, we'll take some lava though. Um. Yeesh. Where am I gonna go? Oh, I see a sheep on the mini map. Don't see any cow. I do see horses. Oh, everybody avert your eyes, because uh, these little horsies are going to go to the farm up north. Um, and, you know, just cut the camera. <coughs> don't look. Keep your eyes closed. Don't, don't look at, don't, don't look at the, nope, nothing happened. Uh, that's the sound of a horse um, having fun. Uh, they are laughing. They're screaming with joy. That is what hats. That's what's happening. Screaming with joy. Screaming with joy. Happy screaming joy sounds. All right, we got. We magically got leather. Isn't that great? We got just enough for one backpack. Um. Oh, everybody, your eyes. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, a horse is going to uh, 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 on a roller coaster. Yep, that's what's happening. Horse roller coaster. Wow! Look, we magically got. Uh, exactly eight leather for two backpacks. Isn't that crazy? Um, there's also something else up here. There is a structure. <gasps> Another village, too. We can go to the village. I want to go to that structure first. That's kind of cool. And I am going to assume that it might be a scorched gun uh, structure. And if it is, we might get a gun be kind of nice. Although, 
although it's getting dark. I don't like that. <gasps> There's cows up here, too. Not that we need them anymore. Where's the picture? This way. Oh. Ooh. Look at this little, uh, little thing we got here. We got supply crates that have rockets and bullets in them. I'm gonna put torches in my offhand. There we go. Ooh. Shotgun shells. We got some anthrolite leggings. Projectile protection too. That's kind of nice. Put those on. Ooh. Blast protection. These ones are... Have, they have better durability, so I'm gonna wear those. We got an iron bayonet with mending and a makeshift rifle. Look at that. Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go. Nothing in there. Nothing there. Okay. That's cool. We got a gun. We got a makeshift rifle. That's awesome. Rest of these. I think that's it. All right, cool. Yeah, we got guns, or a gun. Standard copper round, which we have 12 standard copper rounds. It has heavy shot, so it is enchanted. Um, Z, can I put this? Oh, yes. I'm gonna reload it. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Semi-automatic. It's got 10 rounds in it now. 4.5 melee damage. Uh, increases damage, but lowers fire rate. Okay. So yeah, we've got... Oh, we, we do 9 damage with this. That's awesome. Alright. Well, let's head down to this village. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be pretty sparing with my, with my bullets. I don't want to just go all gung-ho and murdering stuff what is, what 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 is that it's a cog minion interesting it's kind of scary I don't know what that's from I'll have to check and see uh, what mod those guys are from because that's kind of cool cog minion hmm I did see like a cog knight before as well, so I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Hopefully the cog minions don't attack us. They might though. I mean, they weren't there before. Oh hi creeper. I don't. I don't want to mess with you right now. Why are people crying? I'm gonna steal your bed and go night night. It's night night time. Oh, a bunch of sleepy babies. Hello. Okay. Uh, so, we got civilian site 3. Right? Site 3. C3. Gold. We also have an abandoned bunker. Oh. Uh, and... That... How do you... What? I know that's not how you spell it, but whatever. I don't know how to spell things. Okay, abandoned bunker. Uh, we'll, uh, hmm. A, B, sure. Um, any miscellaneous stuff will do... Not yellow. That's... Uh, dark aqua. There we go. Dark aqua will be miscellaneous. Um, nothing else around. Right... Does it seem like it? All right, so we'll probably start heading back up towards home since we found this. Hi, hummingbird. Yeah. All right, we'll start heading back home, and uh, now that we have the leather to make backpacks, and we can finally do a little bit of mining. So that'll be great. Ow! We are back. 
So I don't have what I need. Uh, string. Or uh, string. Um, I did go over back to the village uh, and grab the wool um, and that they had for like a little trading area. Um, but I can't turn wool into string with a crafting table. But you know what I can do? I can grow flax. Or I could do the create milling. But if I do both, I can grow flax, create the milling, and get a ton of string. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grow some flax, which should be pretty easy because we have rich soil. And not only that, I can real quick just make a compost bin, um, which if I remember correctly, isn't it just this? Yes. So we got the compost bin, and we got some stuff we could put in there. Do that and this. Will that be enough? Ooh. Wait. Wait. Ooh. It's a little bit. Um, actually, I don't really need the rich soil for this, um, but I do need to make a hoe. Oh, what the frick? What are you guys doing here? Uh, I don't like you guys. Why are you here? That's rude. That is obscenely rude. All right, I'm going to just leave them be. Just, just, just for now. Just for now. We'll be fine. We will be a-okay. I'm gonna just use the wheat that we have. That should give us quite a bit. I'll just use the stack, um, just get us some more bone meal. There we go. Um, and then we'll do this, this, and that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Yay! We got three flax. Take that away. And then how do I make the thing again? The milling? The miller? The millstone? That thing? And the andesite casings. Oh, which means I need andesite alloy, which I don't have andesite. That's fine. We'll just... We'll just do that. We'll just do the old-fashioned way. You know? That's fine. Okay. No! I need more! Uh, more wheat. That works. Perfect! I just needed one more anyways. There we go. Now we can make a backpack. Just don't mind our, our guests over there, you know. That's not how you do it. That's how you do it. Oop, backpack, and then we're gonna upgrade it to an iron one. Bam, iron backpack. Perfect. Get all this put away. Uh, don't need the hoe, don't need the oak slabs. Good, 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 good. We have torches. I'm gonna go to sleep. Don't shoot me! <laughs> Leave me alone! Let me sleep! That's what I thought. All right, uh, and we're gonna go mining. Um, yeah, because now we got a backpack. Actually, I should probably make me a chest plate. Yeah, that should work. Mm, I don't really want to lose this helmet because it's kind of—I mean—it's respiration. It's kind of nice. It'll be our our scuba gear. And we're gonna do this. Awesome. How much more iron do we got? I'm gonna make an anvil. I have an idea. Oh, treated iron block. What is that? Got those. We're gonna need an anvil at some point anyways. Plop that right there. And get these. Now, will it put I don't think it'll put both on there. Yeah, no. So I definitely want projectile protection. Boom. Bada bing, bada spoon. 
Awesome. And we'll take the iron with us. Alright! Let's go mining. Finally. Uh, into a cave. That's not near these buttholes. Oh, they're right next to it, of course. Okay. Bye bye Are they gonna follow me? Oh, they're following me! With a creeper! The heck? Oh, I didn't kill him. I had to kill him. I had to. I had to. Okay. Well, I need to go get milk at some point then. That's gonna suck. Otherwise, we're gonna lose one of our civilian sites. Oh well. Let's get to mining. Um, just gonna grab as much as we can while we're down here. I specifically need at least three diamonds, at least. Um, actually, I'm gonna put these. I don't want to use my gun. I honestly probably shouldn't have taken it with us. Um, yeah, I need at least three diamonds, and then I would like to grab um, some redstone and quite a bit of it. And if I'm lucky. We might find a redstone cave. Because those are sometimes pretty... Ooh, wow, that was a short-lived cave. Okay, or not. Uh, we'll look for another one. Yeah, we, there's redstone caves that are pretty abundant. Uh, we can find one of those. That would be awesome. That'll give us plenty of redstone. That's not even a cave. <gasps> Maybe... This looks slightly promising. I see a light. A light at the end of the tunnel. Ooh. Probably lava. Yeah, I can see on the minimap it's lava. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some mining, and I will. Oh my God! Never mind. I gotta find another cave. This is dumb. This is real dumb. Another cave down here. I don't want to go strip mining. I want to find an actual cave and explore it. I just am also hoping we don't find a cave with the uh, xenomorphs. That would not be good. Fire clay. Interesting. Phosphorite. We found copper though. That's a good sign. This one, th I, this one, I got a feeling it's it's this one. This one looks actually promising this time. I promise. Oh yeah. Or not. <laughs> God, can I just get something? Ooh, what's that? Sulfur ore. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, there's, there's caves. There's like so many caves underground that are nearby. Like, can I just, can I just get one of those? Can I get a cave entrance into one of those, please? Is it this? No, that's a dead end. I really would like a cave, please. Wait, please. Please. Are you a cave? Uh, maybe. All right, I'm not going to say it this time. I'm just not gonna say it, and then hopefully it will uh, it will be good. Does that count as me saying it? That might that might count as me saying it. I may have just ruined everything. Did I? We'll see. Oh no, this that. Oh yeah, this is promising. All right, well I will be back. I'm gonna do some mining. We're gonna get a bunch of good old goodies um and i will be back if we find anything interesting uh i just saw something not cool called a hive i don't know what that was oh Hold on, is that- Please don't tell me that's a part of what I think it's a part of. 
Oh, okay. It's a part of Scorch Guns. Oh my god. I got so scared. I was like, what is that? I was like, oh, please don't tell me the xenomorph thing is already happening. Because there is a thing called black goo. Um, and it does some pretty interesting stuff. Ah, there's bees. All right, I need to kill this guy. Ow! I got him. All right, that was gross. Anywho, a uh, little update. We got a bunch of stuff. Uh, lots of sulfur chunks, which we can use as a fuel, or we can macerate it into sulfur dust, or we can combine it with niter, charcoal, flint, and make gunpowder. Uh, we can make shield, heal, more gunpowder with phosphor dust. Okay, powered macerator, okay. Interesting, there's no easier way to... Okay, you can grind it into more sulfur dust. Oh, I didn't mean to look at you! You walked in front of me, you butthole! No! No! Take it, come on! That is, that is so rude. Uh-uh. That is rude. That is so rude. Why did that happen? He, he walked in front of me. This man wanted to be looked at. That's rude. I didn't ask for this, okay? I didn't ask for any of this. Oh, there's a bunch of baby skeletons. No, go away, please. No, no, please don't. Don't, don't do that. Stop it! Eee! Yeah, and the lucky thing is, I also have a mod on here that adds uh, bodies, corpses. So when you die, all your stuff just gets put into a corpse and you just pick it all up from that. I think the mod is literally called corpse. So, hi zombie. Or plush. It's over that way. Um, I'm gonna find it. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, it's literally down this way. Julio. Hi, Enderman. You are extremely rude. Thank you. Got my stuff back. That was dumb. That was dumb, Enderman. How much health you got? Just enough for me to kill you with one hit. That's how we do. That's how we do, baby. Get rid of the zombie. Get out of here. We don't want you. Skeleton over there. Yeah, but we got uh, we got a little bit of stuff. Um, we haven't gotten that deep yet, so hopefully we'll go deeper and find some uh, better stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put this. Ah, da, 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 da. Heard him. Oh yeah, parkour, parkour. There you go. Oh, I lost all my levels too. I had such, I had so many good levels. Oh, that's so dumb. All right. Anywho, actually, I need to get rid of that uh, marker now that I can't go away. Please. Oh, you know what? I have a, there's another mod in here, uh, another map mod um, from FTB. I need to, need to mess with the settings of that so that way all my death markers will just go away. Because that would be mucho appreciated. But anywho, I'll see you guys in a minute. Uh, and, you know, I'm just going to keep mining. So hopefully we get a bunch of cool stuff. Ooh. Uh, so, um, we are deep enough to where you can actually see right here, this dungeon here, there's a mine shaft over here, but right here, this, that's the xenomorph area, that's the alien, aliens, I guess. This is the alien area, so steer clear from that for right now. Um, other than that, what else is around? We got a lot of mine shafts. Um, crystals or something, maybe? Ooh, lots of skulk. Oh, <gasps> is that 
Oh, okay, so this might be a, one of the Skulk uh, Geiger-esque dungeons with the aliens. Same here. There's a lot of them. Whoa, okay. Hold on, it makes you, makes you want to just check. We're going to go all the way back to, back to spawn. Okay, doesn't look like... Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. Okay, so we're fine. I was like, man, if there's one of these dungeons, like, directly underneath us, then I should have just stayed there. But, nah. Yeah, no, it looks like this is probably the furthest one away, so that we're fine. And I don't know if I really want to mess with the one that's in Skulk. I don't want the warden trying to kill us. That would suck. Um, yeah, let's stay away from that. We could probably explore some of the uh, mine shafts, maybe, um, but we'll see. Otherwise, little little check-in point, little checkpoint. We got a bunch of stuff. Um, nothing too great. Lots of copper, which is good. A little bit of iron. Um, we've already started getting some lead. Um, osmium, tin, zinc, more sulfur chunks. Um, anthrolite, we got some of that. Um, and some lapis, so we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're, we're actually just above the deep slate um, part of the caves, the deep slate level. So we'll, uh, once we get down there, we'll start getting, you know, redstone and stuff like that. So that'll be nice. Um, I'm gonna keep going, keep mining. Hey, look at that gold. Awesome. Yeah, gold is good. We need we need at least a block of gold so we can start making the uh, the uh, aircrafts. So that that is a zombie, baby zombie on a ch no. That is not a zombie. That's one of the little like I don't know what to call them, little critter dudes. I don't know what to call them. Like stone, is it a stoneling? I guess I could look here. A stoneling, yeah. Wow, I was right. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna keep going down. Um, and get back to our mining escapade. I died. A creeper. It was a baby creeper. So that's fun. So now I gotta go back and get our stuff again. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I was just getting redstone too! Oh. Oh, it's 150 blocks away. Should be too bad. I mean, the rest of the caves lit up, like all the way up until that point, so. Should be fine. Should. There goes all my levels again, though. Although, I'm not really too worried on levels, mainly because, like, this, this mod pack is very technologically focused. Um, it's not really focused on enchanting or uh, fantasy dragons and all that. Um, it's very much just focused on the technological part. Um, so yeah, I'm not. I'm not really worried about my levels. I. I'm not too worried. Um, if I get some good stuff with, like, protection, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah sure. I'll, I'll use it. But, uh, other than that, don't really, don't really care. Let's get back to our stuff, though. Just over there. Now, like I said, everything should be fairly lit up. So, we shouldn't have to deal with much on our way. Hey, death counter. We've died twice. I think just twice. Yeah. Yeah. We only died twice. This way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm losing track of where I'm going. Only slightly, though. It's up here. Yeah, it's right over here. Yippee! What? It, hold on. I don't want to get copyrighted. What is that? Okay, it's a jukebox thing. Is it? Is it playing from my corpse? 
Why was it playing from my corpse? I don't like that. Alright, well, we'll just keep the jukebox down then, because I don't want copyrighted stuff happening. Um, but back to the mining thing we go. Yeah. Uh, okay, you know what? Screw it. Uh,. I almost just got blown up again by another creeper, but this time it was a creeper with a backpack, which means... Oh! What the frick? You guys have armor on. What is this? Oh my god, dude! You are like, invulnerable! What is going on? And he broke my axe, that's lovely. Lapis Lazuli legs? What the heck? What is with this? Alright, anyways, we had a, uh... A, a, we almost got blown up by a creeper with a backpack. And then, yeah, there's another creeper with a backpack right here. Oh! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nice! Look at that. That's great. No backpack? Really? Oh, that's kind of lame. Yeah, we drop our shells too, which is really fun. So, yeah, so it's kind of worth it to go pick them back up. Alright, well, that was entertaining. I need to make a uh, workbench so that way I can start crafting. Because um, I need another pickaxe and I also need another... Um, another axe so I can actually do damage and stuff. Put that stuff away. We'll put our casings away. Put that in there as well. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Got a little bit more redstone. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and make. Oh, I needed the iron though. There we go. Make two more pickaxes, and we'll make one axe. That's not what I. Need. There we go. Okay. Put that away. Put that away. That away. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love to see it. Alright, back to mining. Uh Yeah, I really need, I really need to get down and get to some diamonds and more that stuff. Go! Oh, he's got a gun! He's got a gun! Oh That was terrifying! That man had a gun! In a musket. That was all right. Well, that was a thing. I haven't seen that before. Okay. Um. Anyways, let's get back to what we were doing. I will continue mining, and we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Oh yeah. Ah, okay. This guy's actually shooting stuff at me. Um. Sky carrier. All right. Got him. We got him. We got him, boys. We got him. What the heck? Compact advanced rounds. Advanced round. Interesting. Got shot at by a flying machine. There's robots. This is supposed to be about aliens, guys. What is what? Da, 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 da. Oh. Stop. I actually need to I actually need to kill the creepers so I can get gunpowder for ammo and stuff. I mean I know I'm getting sulfur, but like okay, these guys I don't care about. Get out of here. Why is there so many creepers? Oh, you guys be creeping! There we go. Frickin' creeping creepers. Yeah, still haven't found diamonds. We're still we're still looking. Um, I'm hoping to hopefully find some diamonds by the end of this video. Like that would be a good ending, you know. Find some diamonds and then uh, head back up to the surface. Also, 
these ambient sounds are creepy as hell. I don't know, whoever made these ambient sounds, like, you first of all deserve to be paid more, but also you deserve to be paid less because they're creepy and I do not like being scared! No! Stupid creepers, stop it. I am trying to get things and not be disrupted by you. There's another creeper. Another creeper. That's great. That's great. I don't know where he went. Frickin' disappeared. See, I'm excited to get to the, uh... Ah! I jumped right on top of him! Ooh. We're good. This is a little scary. Just a little bit. No, I'm excited to get into getting the xenomorphs and stuff like that, because... They're gonna be terrifying. Like, they blend in really well. Uh, there's a couple times where I was messing with them and I, I didn't even see them and they were almost practically in front of me. That was great. Um, yeah, right now I'm just trying to look for diamonds. Whoa, whoa! Oh, I have I have no health. Uh eat. Eat. What was that? A cog minion? Yeah, there's a cog minion over here. That's great. Ow. Whoa! Oh, you look like just a metal creeper with a a wooden hoe. Interesting. Alright, well, I'll be back. Uh, I'm gonna keep mining. Made it back. Uh, unfortunately, didn't find any diamonds. But, oh, hey, that's done. Most of it is. Cool. Um, but... I also forgot that I have another mod in this called Tetra, and they have geodes, and there's a chance that these geodes can drop uh, diamonds. So, and I've got 24 of them, so I'm like, I think, I think we might, might be able to get one from these. Um, but let me go through and drop off a bunch of this stuff, get it out of my inventory for right now. Um, yeah, see, we've got whew, so much, which is nice. This is going to be amazing. Definitely going to use all of that. Fill that in. Uh, that, these. And yeah, just the coal in there left. Oh, wow, that's full already. Uh, let's combine all of our copper and coal. That's better. Uh, those. I have a whole stack of coal, so that should, uh, that should help quite a bit. There we go. Awesome. Awesome possum. Alright, so we got that done. Now, let's get ourselves some of these things. Um, I do have one. So we're gonna need a crafting bench. And we're gonna need to make a hammer. And we're actually gonna need to make two of them. Just like that. We got two stone hammers. Um, right clicking this will turn it into a uh, tetra workbench. And then you can put your stone hammer in there. And then I'm gonna upgrade our stone hammer to. No. There we go. To an iron hammer. That way we can do more stuff with it. Boom. There we go. Now you can upgrade like your iron pickaxes and, and make them into tetra axe and tetra pickaxes and stuff like that. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take these geodes and we're gonna break them. Okay. Uh, that's a pristine lapis. Redstone. Flint. Lapis. Copper. More flint. More redstone. Hey! A diamond! Okay. 
a pristine diamond. So that does count as one diamond. So we could turn that into a normal diamond. Two diamonds. Ooh, a pristine emerald. Amethyst. All right. Hey, we got three diamonds technically. Um, so if I can shatter this. So yields increase bonuses uh, when used for item improvements can be shattered at a workbench, which may yield several regular quality pieces. Nope, only one. <laughs> That's fine. Um, all right. Oh, and it looks like this one got honed. So let's put... Should we put speed on it? Put speed. Sure. I would do a, a fish or a durability, but I'm going to I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade this one as well, because um, we are going to need another iron one. It's best to just keep both of them upgraded on the same tier. Um, it definitely helps. But hey, we got three diamonds. So technically, technically, uh, quest achieved uh, or quest completed, whatever. Um, and actually, I might be able to do it with only two diamonds, now that I think about it. Because we'll turn this one into pickaxe. Oh, baby! Yup. So we'll do that. Pickaxe head. There we go, level five. And then I wonder... Will that Okay, that won't bring it up a level. That won't either. I'm just seeing if any of these will bring it up a level, but it doesn't look like it. That's okay. Um... Let's go ahead and give it a better handle, iron handle. That should work for now. I mean, binding. Actually, eh, I'd rather do a gem, honestly. Ooh. What would this do? Um, or my best looking here. Experience gained from killing entities and destroying blocks yields honing progress at a two times ratio. Okay, so that that might be that might be good. Whereas this one gives it a one, yeah. This gives just gives it a crit, a crit chance, better crit chance. Um, uh, 30% chance to deal 200% damage, 30% chance to instantly break blocks, 30% chance to make effects 200% effective. Interesting. Um, I would say we're gonna wait on these and use it for a weapon. That's gonna be pretty nice. Uh, this one gives us reaching. Increases harvest speed and attack damage the further away the target is. Grants a plus 44% bonus for targets three blocks away. Interesting. Okay. I could do an emerald. Like, don't do the pristine emerald, but do the normal emerald. It would bump that up. What would a normal diamond do? Ooh. It would make it go up quite a bit. Alright. I think it's fine how it is. Should be fine how it is. I don't want to. I don't want to do too much to it. Um, I am going to upgrade our axe and let's give it a claw for the butt. There we go. Now it is a carpenter's axe. I'm gonna repair it. Give it a. Give it an iron handle. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. And now we can repair those, and they will never fully break and disappear, um, which is probably something I should have done a while ago. Um, so cool. So we got that. Quest technically complete. Um, and we got redstone and we got gold. So I'm pretty sure our next quest is to go get some obsidian, which should be pretty close by, but we're going to leave that for the next episode. Um, next episode, we're going to get our first flying vehicle, uh, a helicopter, helicopter, because that's going to be the easiest to fly around and whatnot. So we're going to get a helicopter. And, um, I think, I think we'll, 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 we gotta build the house. We gotta build the house. So let's, let's get the, uh, the helicopter. We'll build the house and then we will get on with the rest of our mechanism stuff. So see you guys in the next one. <gasps> bye bye.